Back in 1776, soon after the United States had declared its independence from England, a gentleman by the name of Thomas Paine had written in a pamphlet called The Crisis, These are the times that try men's souls. Now, he wrote about it in a different context, folks, but I would like to tell you on this fine Monday morning, March 30th, that indeed we are in the sort of times that try, that test our inner selves. And I just wanted to tell my students before we start today that I'm aware that this situation with the uh, coronavirus outbreak, the pandemic, it is a it's unique and it is troubling and in some ways believe it or not it can be exciting because as terrifying as it may be these are the times that try us these are the times that make us into what we are and so i'm going to talk to you a little bit about as i have in the past but i would like to remind you that this is the kind of situation that instills what we call tenacity into you as a human being. Tenacity, that's the word for the quality of being determined that you possess inside of you. When you possess tenacity, you can also say that you have what we also call determination, doggedness, persistence. Are you going to be tenacious or develop tenacity? How are you going to do that, folks? Now, keep in mind, not only are we in the process of developing qualities that will strengthen us, yeah, strengthen us for the rest of our lives, you're also writing your life story, so to speak. Now, if you're not already in the job market, well, at some point, people may ask you, how did you get through that challenging time? What did you do to rise above your limitations? What did you do to become more determined, dogged, persistent, tenacious? It's not easy, folks. I know I'm struggling. I got up at 5.30 this morning, and uh, three hours later, here I am getting started with my video to you. So anyway, I'm going to keep it short, because I know many of you are probably struggling even more. Or, you know, maybe you're excited. Maybe you want to get started and get your week off to a good, uh, on a good note. So here's what I'm going to do. Today's lesson, basically, you've got one thing to do, folks, besides watch this this video. Oh, by the way, I noticed I got my Piners Wrestling shirt on. Yep, we're still here in support of our Piners, and I am here in support of you, and that's why I am asking you, what can I do? Not just as your English language, language arts teacher, but just as an educator at your school, as a fellow Piner, what can I do to help you in your academic studies during this challenging time? And it could be specific to this class. It may even be, you know, how do I write this for my science class or history class? Don't ask me about math. Forget about it. Okay. But anyway, how can I help you? But the other thing I'd like you to consider writing about, you can be this or it could be um, one or the other. What can you do to help yourself improve during this time? What do you think? Or maybe you've read something. Maybe somebody gave you a recommendation that said, do A, or maybe not do this during this challenging time, especially since we're all stuck in our houses much more than we usually are. Tell me a little bit about that. Write about it. Submit it to me. That's your work for the day. We'll continue working on our texts on our passages that we've been reading. Uh, for my English 2 students, as you know, you are supposed to have finished the first two pieces. These are nonfiction pieces. 
that are in your packet. They were due on Friday, but you know I can give I can be flexible. Uh, if you're still working on it, you still haven't submitted it, please do that now. In addition, today's daily check-in. Make sure you do this check-in every day, no later than one o'clock, folks. I'm, I cannot possibly stay on this computer all day and night, so I have to cut you off. You've got to start checking in for me to mark you present before one o'clock. Sometimes I check a little later in the day and catch up on grading uh, or attendance and grading. Uh, but for the most part, yes, you got to be here one o'clock. Get up, get dressed, make it a day. Don't sit around in your pajamas all day. Give yourself a sense of purpose, doggedness, determination, tenacity. Get up, make something of your lives. You could start by explaining to me, it could be a couple of sentences. What can I do for you or what can you do for yourself? Looking forward to your responses, folks, and I will be in touch. All right, we'll talk real soon. And again, I want to know what can I do for you? Among those, maybe one or two live sessions for class a week is something that I'm considering. Let me know what you think about that as well. Okay, Mr. Peacock, over and out.